Okay, hello traders. This is the Wolf with another market pressure tutorial series video. And this video we're going to wrap up the market series, uh, market pressure series. And uh, we're going to put everything in. So we're going to apply whatever you guys have learned about market pressure in the past few tutorials before I move on to the next topic. So currently we are on the GBP AUD Monday live market and uh, before that let me do this warning your invested capital may be at risk do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not an investment advice. So let's plot our major key levels. Okay so we have now IQ option have changed the round numbers. To make it an area rather than a specific point. So we have the 200 EMA which is currently flat showing respect here. Currently market is on an upward direction. We have a double bottom here and uh, let me plot the major key levels. So we have a major round number here. With a perfect weak touch and reverse the market into an uptrend. So currently market direction is up which means the pressure direction is currently up. So you see market was in range uh, before um, finally breaking up into an uptrend. So let's see if we can do some uh, pressure trades based on the current live market. So with all the concepts we have learned so far, so we have a body reversal level here. BB1 should trigger the price up. So you can see the candle being triggered upwards. So let's just see the price action in this area. So we have a SNR here. And you can see the jerk coming in. And rejection. So currently this candle is a red engulfing. So this is the key level. But when you have when you're in uptrend, the BB1 will trigger bias. So let's see what happens. Market is now playing around the 200 EMA. Let's see if buyers have what it takes to continue the uptrend. And you can see the jerk. So we can follow the uptrend now after this uh, something like a dark cloud cover. So BB1 is acting as a trigger point. So that is the confirmation, the rejection. Second rejection. But sellers, selling pressure is coming in, trying to bring the market past the BB1 area. Uh, market is moving away from the BB2 towards the BB1. So you have a selling, sellers are clearing with a double top. So now this is a confirmation. Failure shows you direction. So this is an easy put trade on the next candle. So it's the easiest put trade. Best would be if the market comes back to this area and then you do a put trade from here, from this level, which this level will now act as a resistance after being cleared. So we have a, another bearish engulfing. Buyers tried to bring the market up from this BB1 and then fail with a strong bearish candle which shows us that the direction is now down. And you can see 
this was the key level and market is coming back down into back into kind of like a ranging mode so now the trend direction is down but the moment this candle open you see a strong uh, trigger from the 50 EMA so this candle you have to be careful wait for this candle to form completely before we take the next candle trade in which direction this candle will show us the direction of the market so you can see currently the direction is down so we just got to wait for this candle to finish forming and you can see that selling pressure is just too strong the market is coming down good inverted hammer so let's plot our next key level uh, round number level in the 5000 so this is a maribuzu trade candle closed above the round number but this candle opened below the round number which shows us that this candle will be a strong red candle so this is a maribuzu continuation setup and we have 30 seconds price is reacting on the bb1 lower level but i'm pretty much sure that this candle will close a strong red candle because of this maribuzu trade setup sellers trigger from here so price is respecting over here buyers are coming in from here but you can see the selling pressure is just too strong so the most important thing you need to identify the trend direction or the direction of the pressure and then you can do easy continuation trades when you have a one-sided pressure market so you can see the market is going down 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 and the bb1 lower level even though there were buyers reacting here the sellers were still able to break this level easily it shows strong selling pressure downwards so which is the area to watch out is this level here this area is a good bias area as well as this body reversal level here which was able to change the selling direction upwards so you can see this should be a easy call trade but we are going against the pressure direction this looks like a fake breakout the sellers are getting weaker you can see this weak, perfect weak respect from the body reversal level over here which in the end triggers bias so this candle was nothing but a fake breakout so I just want to show you some trades based on pressure you have another easy ITM but you have to be careful because this was the first attempt this candle should respect the BB1 and the seller should try to break out from this level below so let's watch and see what price does at this level okay good put trade and you can see the jet coming in from the sellers so let's see there's a jerk confirmation that sellers would bring the price down but you know that below you have a strong buying area 
So with this video, I'd like to conclude the market pressure series to show you some live examples of how price reacts based on pressure. So buyers have no strength. And this is a sure shot put trade of what looks like a evening star setup. So you can see buyers couldn't bring the price up. And we are heading down. So with this trade, I like to end this video. Hope you guys understand about market pressure better. And uh, the next topic, we will be covering uh, trend. So we're going to talk about trend and trend behavior. So we have 10 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and with this, the wolf signing out, thank you, stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next tutorial series, uh, when we're going to talk about trend behavior, and I'm going to share a lot of um, secrets based on my spin time on how to identify trend, trend behavior, retracements, continuation, reversals, and all those other stuff associated with trend. So with that, this is the Wolf signing out. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care. And bye-bye.